Hello everyone and welcome back to Jumbo Hodge Plays. Today we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I'm here with Victor. He's still what on the up? keyboard. He's yep. playing the game. This is his dating simulator game. <laughs> <laughs> things and are getting so uh, good. Things are getting spicy. Mm -hmm. Last we left off, uh, we were supposed to choose somebody to help out during the to prepare for the festival. And Victor, you had um, a little bit of time to think about it. Yeah. Who who you did choose? Who I'm, you want to help out? I'm gonna go with Sayuri. Uh, definitely, yeah. Because um, Natsuki, I feel, I feel sorry for. Like, I, I treated her kind of white, well, not bad, but just ignored her. Yep. And on top of that, she just, I feel distance between us. Because it's like, you know, she just thinks I'm going for Yuri, so she just wants to make that distance between us. Uh, Monica, on the other hand, like again, I barely talked to her. You know, she said it herself in the last episode. She said that we haven't hung out, that we haven't had much time together. So I would go for Monica more than anyone else, but. I'll get to it. <laughs> Yuri, on the other hand, I feel like now that she knows that I like her, or like we're getting really close, she's getting she has some attitude to her, and and I need to put it in her place and be like, oh, no, maybe not this time. <laughs> but but Sayori, she's like you know childhood friend, not feeling well. I want to go help her out. I want to make sure she's okay. So and and I mean Monica and Sayori are working together. So if anything, I'll still be technically helping Monica. Uh, oh, don't forget to save me, game. All right. Empty slot. Yeah. Wait, no. This is She's empty slot. A... This is technically the empty slot. Oh, whatever. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm okay. Alright. Okay. 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 Right. Right. So go ahead. So I'm gonna go with Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said Monica said that Sayori was helping her. <laughs> I was like, are you not like, what's going on? Um, do you really hate us that much? No. No. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh, wow. They gotta choose between wow. the three. Wow, fuck. Why even give me that option? Why give me the illusion of choice? I already lived through that all day, every day. I do not need this in a fake fantasy world that I want to <laughs> fucking enjoy, alright? Jesus. All right, go ahead. Pick who? All right, so you pick Sayori. Didn't work out. Who's your number two? My number two was Monica, but now they put up a good point that Monica's helping Sayori. So I don't know what the fuck to go. This game is just ah. I'm going not to Go ahead. Well, well, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking's a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Huh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that. that that's because... <laughs> Never mind, okay? Well, anyways, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Oh. Wow, really? You gotta you got me feel bad for my decision like that? Were you not just saying that people make fun of you for living your life? Okay, okay, you're okay. gonna make me feel bad? Just calm no, down. No, Jolie. Just calm cool. down, Victor. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm invested in this game and I plan to be invested all in right. and be with the boop. Alright, I'm happy you're invested. I'm happy you're liking the game. I really do. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. See? 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 What did I just say? So, that's everything, right? Anything else you want to talk about? Well, there's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight. <laughs> no. Dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> no, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yeah, everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Victor? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested in to see how it will turn out. That's good to, that's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still soaking. Mm. Hmm. Natsuki starts pouting too. That's not... I mean, it's not a big deal or anything. Well, I it might not be just that. Hmm? I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. 
having to come up with something for her to do, and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Matsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And... And you're gonna... And you're gonna help make the event a lot more fun and welcome. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. <laughs> I mean, they'll be the main thing. They'll be delicious. Everyone's, everyone's coming for my cupcakes. Mm, they're known. Is. They're known to be the best in the trunk as they can. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna you're gonna make the atmosphere special. They want blue ribbons five years in a row. And uh, that'll be really important for the way people feel during the performance. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Mm. You didn't really mean that, did you? Mm. Not really, but I was about to say that. I was going to crack a joke and like, no, not at all. <laughs> Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helped it, helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm, I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope let's... I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that... There's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Oh, yeah. Okay, but I'm staying here a little bit. Ooh, I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri at the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Huh? I still need- we still need to figure out a plan for this weekend. <laughs> he literally would've gotten home and realized you didn't even have a way to contact me oh true oh that's <laughs> true <laughs> i have no idea how, this, how that slipped out of my mind jeez a good thing i stopped you i'm giving you my number okay hey give me and that shit Ooh. better not make it weird or anything oh, don't give I, it to that i already did <laughs> <laughs> and don't give it to that weirdo behind the dumpster <laughs> he already called me five times before i had to change my number why would i do that hmm Natsuki gives me her number. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Natsuki's <laughs> number. Damn digits. <laughs> it's just the, the, the trophy. Damn digits. <laughs> Alright. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, we're doing it at my house? Why can't we do it at your house? I'll just go over. You have it over there. Wait. You're coming to my hey. house? Gee, ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, you are. Why? Okay. You are invested. In <laughs> well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over in my house. My dad will kill me. That's like every girl's excuse. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah. How do you How do you think I feel? Oh. Hmm. I can't do anything with my dad at home. When my dad's home. Anyways, I just needed to complain for a second. Well, we'll see each other. We have each other's numbers now. Uh, that's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Hey. All right. Fine by me. Yeah. Baby Booper. <laughs> I'm really gonna show you why I love bacon so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, <laughs> I was just saying that. <laughs> it's not like I would act. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That's what I. That's what I was looking forward to. This. I Wait. That wrong. <laughs> yeah, you did. Wait. <laughs> really? Well, kind of. Uh, just because I never got to bake with someone else before. Uh, that, that's all it is, so. Alright. Never mind. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. 
Uh, the, never mind. <laughs> you just is your problem? you like call her later on and you just like pick up the phone and she's like, "Hello, who is this?" <laughs> just like, "Uh, Yuri, this is this is Victor." He's like, "Oh, uh, uh, yes, hello. Um, how are you doing?" <laughs> uh, uh, let me uh, wait. Uh, let me go get it for you. And then he goes like, um, "Yeah, uh, what you want?" He's like, "Oh, hold on. Uh, this is this is uh, Nat- Natsuki's sister." <laughs> Let, let me go pick her up on the phone for you. <laughs> and it's just like, hello. <laughs> and literally, not even like two seconds past, it's already like, yeah, what you want. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe this. Natsuki's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling at her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. Mm. Yeah. Just awkward transition. Whoever the fuck? Come on, my legs. <laughs> They're not working. <laughs> my leg. I bury how you doing, bear? What you doing, bear? Oh my god, bear. Look how big you are, bear. What's your bear? How you doing, bear? Oh my god, baby, so shocked. It's like, hey, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. It's for real estate. It's for real estate. <laughs> hey. Oh, you cut her nails too. No, I didn't. You did? No, this is really soft. I think because we took her to the dog park. She's running around. Right here, go with your mask. Bears. Bears. Ah. Okay. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. And why are you overthinking about it? <gasps> no poems! It's already Sunday. <laughs> I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after... Ex- Wait. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. Yeah. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard anything from Sayori since she left the club early that other day. It's not like we text each other all the way, all the time and, or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need me? I oh, she has vi- a nice house. She does. I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply just tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a bit of a habit simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Oh. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sorry. Hi, Victor. I sit down in her room. Sorry forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. Dude, doesn't that look like the Angry Birds duck? Yeah, the triangle yellow one? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. But like, like not a copyrighted one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's a minute of silence between us. Oh, you haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Just, uh, I guess you're right. It's been lonely. Just me, <laughs> Mr. Cow, and Mr. Mr. Bird. <laughs> it's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's always had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Did you clean it for me? <laughs> exactly. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. I like that. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to meet up with Natsuki? Yeah, I was but... like, Wait, how did you know that? Sorry, had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed with the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. <laughs> but what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But, 
I'm just here. I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh, I could control her remotely. <laughs> Through my computer. <laughs> uh, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sorry stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, sorry, smile, shaking her head. That's not good, Victor. Huh? Sorry, I burped. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't it just be like it's always been? You, me, all this silence. <laughs> that all this is... silence we love so much. Yeah. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. What? If, if I didn't make that stupid mistake. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come by. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me, right? But this, it, it's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. What is she talking about? I don't know. Like, I know what she's talking about, but like, like, <laughs> like I meant what is she talking about in the sense of like, it's not what she thinks. I think that's that's why the world decided for you to come over today. Uh, it just wants to torture me. Stop it, Mr. Cow! <laughs> <laughs> Sayori. I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah! Ah! Sorry, it gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Victor. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Yeah, she looks like she would be. You're just seeing things for the first time. Seeing what? What are you, what are you talking about, Sayori? Eee. You're really just gonna make me say it, are you? I'm sorry, for this part, I'm just gonna talk in my normal voice. Why? Just because uh, it's pretty serious. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've always... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Uh, did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there when to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why do, why do I go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put energy and care and caring to waste by having them s spend it with me? My bad. <clears throat> My allergies are acting up. Cause Barry's in the room. Uh, just kick her out. Just blah. Yeah. Uh, that's what it feels like, and that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sorry kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Yeah? Why uh, is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Victor. Uh, why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted. You would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ha <laughs> ha That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. Holy shit, man. <laughs> this game 
captures depression too well. It just it, it just cranked it up. No, what are you gonna do about this, Barry? What is up, my goodness? I don't oh think, God, I don't think there's enough cuteness in you to stop. <laughs> Jesus, Look at Barry. I got Barry. I got Barry. I'll put a picture on the screen. Barry, Barry, <laughs> Barry being cute. So that's why. Uh, that's why I decided the world is the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but her. Ahaha. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, sir. But I do! Fudge! But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Victor. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could that could have helped is if everything could have been like it's always been. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Saturday's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Oh, she's crying. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sari's shoulders. This time, I put her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, Victor. Sorry. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Victor. Sorry isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sorry's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Victor, I... Sorry barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to, to know what I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be changed. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jenny Sari finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Victor. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Hey, good job. Hey, caught a fly with my hand. Hey. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sorry lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. Uh, how would you like me? For me to spend it all with you. Uh. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. You really be like that. See, that, that's a <laughs> bad action. Like, don't cancel your plans. Like, it only makes her feel worse. Because then she feels like she's holding you from what you were going to do. And, ah, oh, man. My character sucks. What's she doing? People? What's Barry doing? It sounded like she puked, but she didn't. No, yeah, it sounds like she's... Okay. Or she's not something nasty. <laughs> Barry! Hi, Barry. Barry is the only thing that's holding me together <laughs> yeah like cause she's so cute <laughs> Barry's the only thing that's like mm, keeping me from all the sadness yeah but look at her big okay. black button eyes staring back at you Oh, for keeping her big ass floppy ears <laughs> <laughs> uh please don't if you did then I then I really wouldn't forgive you but it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me in my house at the very least do you want to come along and help out it would be fun. To my surprise, Sari shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good thing for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. 
It's okay. Kick the sun anything. Don't worry about it. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Oh. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki's about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously, anxiously waiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Wow, their houses look the same. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a complex. <laughs> the same thing. Or maybe, you know, it's the same picture. You guys live in the same house, just different dimensions. <laughs> Without delay, I open the front door to let her know. Damn, hey, she looks cute. Yeah, she has a different outfit. Mm. So, hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform tro totally threw me off. Seeing her in such a cute clothes makes me makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in person. Jeez, don't make it so awkward already. Uh, it's gonna be a long afternoon, uh, so don't be weird just because we're not used to seeing each other outside of school. Man, I'm I'm wondering <laughs> here how how cute Yuri would have looked outside of the school uniform. And now, I won't be able to fucking know! <laughs> well, if it helps, a lot of people who have done Let's Plays, they've chosen Yuri. Yeah? yeah so uh, I'll, just, I'll watch it later. Not yeah. many people have chosen Natsuki, so um, this, is, this is new to me. I feel I feel like I feel like that because of that same reason that I give out, the whole her being a little sister. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, go, go ahead, Joey. That's you. Anyways, I'm coming in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow, that's a nice kitchen. Yeah, really, though. See? I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki's carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way and find out your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. Even though I brought everything you asked. Wait, no. Yeah, you read that. I read that completely <laughs> off. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly saying that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Mm. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Oh. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What do you mean? We're already in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Oh. Help a poor we little lady. This lady with a six shooter. Where's your hospitality, Victor? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I got the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Yeah, this is ridiculously heavy. Aha, uh -huh. working on the prayer, he gained muscles. <laughs> <laughs> that back muscle, though. Oh, um, I carried all, carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Yeah, it's because I'm so small, isn't it? That's exactly it. Yeah. It's not that I'm small. I'm Compact size. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Yeah. Um. It's not that I hate it. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worthy of my size. It's fun. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, please, never mind. What are you, what are you making me say? Uh, I don't think you can make me talk all this weird stuff and just because we're not in school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Haha. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey. Uh, now you're. Hey, what? Now, now you, you are treating me like a kid. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I can't read. <laughs> um, I was just trying to be a little nasty, you know. Nasty? Nasty. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Being a little nasty. nasty. Mm. <laughs> and and just because I don't have a mature, sexy figure like you, right? Oh. Doesn't mean you should treat me like a. Little sister. Uh, Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. I'm Natsuki, 
Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Ugh. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are a lot of tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would, how would you know that anyways? Just trust me on this one. Yeah. It's called the internet. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, yeah, she got him. <laughs> hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, just, let's just get started already. Ah, uh, you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. Finally found your weakness, Victor. Not to keep smiling. Back of the knee. Let's get back of the knee. Please, spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to put things out of her bag, so we get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty. dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn, strewn all about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of the, my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Victor, where'd you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making each tray a different color. Hey. And that way, even the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Nice. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this. And any soul. <laughs> or any elbow grease. <laughs> you gotta can't put you, your back into it. <laughs> can't you at least try to have fun? I, I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Uh, that does look pretty cool. See? Uh, it's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to get creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end uh, if they're looking at it. What if? And just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on the first day, huh? I recall Natsuki's proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. It sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the acid before you mess with the food coloring. I think she wants to do Yeah, well... I mean, I think this is a good time to stop. This is a no, Bears. Okay, yeah. Um, so anyways, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, we're kind of cutting the episode a little bit short, but... Definitely, next episode this is where things are going to get interesting, trust me. I, I know. Have we been saying that a lot in the no, episodes? No. no. It was like the second time I mentioned it. Alright, cool. Yeah, then hopefully it gets it gets crazy up in here. Well, I mean, we, we did get a little crazy right now. We found a little discovery about uh, Sayori. That was pretty deep. That was yeah. pretty harsh. You know, uh, my character doesn't know shit about how to treat that. So I was really upset about that. But, you know, that's, that's how the game is. You know, you can't implement yourself in there. But, hey, that's how it is. And hopefully it gets crazier. Eat that right, Joe. All right, well, thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget to drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, yeah. That's all yeah. I gotta say. Yeah, and we love you all. Stay beautiful.